Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David. How are you doing, John? Good, thank you. In our last Unfiltered, we were speaking a little bit about worship. Well, that's what our content was about. And uh, we were mentioning the Dove Awards and how uh, worship has now become a production, and now the, they're part of the Dove Awards where they get awards for songs. And yeah, yeah. But I, is it okay if I read something to you here that I uh, that was on a an article that I just wanted to bring forth that has something to do with the Dove Awards? Sure. And it says, Skillet frontman John Cooper recently addressed a controversy surrounding last week's Dove Awards, a controversy that centered on the appearance of Derek Webb in a dress accompanied by openly queer Christian Semir and drag queen Flamey Grant. Uh, the Dove Awards ceremony, which was held at Lipscomb University in Nashville, Tennessee, was open to the public. So we see this Christian show that's celebrating Dove Awards for Christian music, and it's now been infiltrated by the LBGTQ. What are your thoughts on that? Well, it's exactly what we were talking about the other day. This just so happens to be one of those moments that our recent conversation um, has some some uh, recent uh, application. So what do I think about that? I, I think that it's it's, uh, it's sacrilegious. You know, that's an old word, by the way. People don't use words like that anymore. Blasphemous, they don't use those words anymore. After all, who's to be a judge, right? We're, we're not supposed to be judges. We're supposed to accept everything in the name of Christ because after all, I mean, he accepted everybody, but the problem is, is he invited people to come to him, but he didn't accept their sins. And somewhere along the line, the 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 muddled thinking of those who have a big voice has found its way into contemporary Christian thought. I can tell you, anybody who thinks that a drag queen or a quote-unquote openly queer Christian, quote-unquote, um, is uh, acceptable to Christ and to say, well, we're going to accept them because he would, they don't read the Bible. They don't go to a church that teaches the Word of God. They don't teach uh, what Paul would say when he says that, that we should be, he said, come out from amongst them and be mm -hmm. separate. I will receive you. You know, it, it, they're not reading the Old Testament. They're not reading about about the expelling of evil and and, and things that relate to that. They're not looking at the New Testament, how, how we are built on the apostles, prophets, uh, the, the early writings of these men and the and and uh, pastor teachers who were who were to take this into the future so the church would continue with purity. They're not, they're, they, don't, they don't read their Bibles. They have been, they've been stung by the uh, contemporary um, quote-unquote theology mm. that has been infiltrated by, by Christ rejectors, and they don't go to a church with a pastor who teaches the Word. They just don't. You cannot tell me that they have sat under a good, solid Bible teacher. Um, they, if they were, they would not believe the garbage that they're presenting and all. But this is just signs of the last right. days. You know, they're following demonic illusions. And uh, that's what happens when you commercialize mm. the worship of God. Right. You, you start, you start, you have your own idol. Remember that John in 1 John said uh, the... To stay away from idols. It's not just statues, you know. It's it's anything that takes the glory that belongs mm -hmm. to God. And when we have idols in the quote unquote Christian music, where they're they're being the ones who are the example, supposedly setting the example of uh, of what a Christian is and how a Christian acts, and they're 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 saying nonsense nowhere in the Bible especially as it's revealed in the Gospels, would you ever see Jesus Christ uh, uh, saying, yeah, this is, this is fine. You know, uh, when a woman is caught in adultery, he doesn't say, you know, go and enjoy yourself some more. He says, go and sin no more. And so he didn't call us to live ungodly lives. He called us to live lives that are set apart. And when you have these people, a man dressed up in a woman's dress, there at an award ceremony, that's Sodom and Gomorrah. You're looking at at uh, at evil, and and they're so ignorant that they think that they're showing grace. No, they are ignorant, and I guarantee you there are other things they're doing, not just dressing up like women 
or bringing out drag queens. They don't know the ways of the Lord. And they cheapen God's grace. They destroy God's grace. It made it into permission. God does not accept all of that. God's word warns against future judgment because of things like that. Mm -hmm. Paul makes it clear. He said it's because of these things that the, that the wrath of God is coming upon men. You know, he made it clear. And yet these people don't, I'm telling you, John, they don't read the Bible. They don't. And they don't go to churches that teach it. And they don't have any friends that are actually speaking into the line saying, you have crossed the line. You better wake up. Don't call yourself a Christian artist. Go out there and try and sell your garbage to the world. They're wanting to hear that, but not a genuine believer. And yeah, it infuriates me as a pastor teacher because I see the harm that's taking place with children and families and, and uh, disrespect the church has because, you know, Jesus said that, that the salt that has lost its savor is no good for anything other than be thrown on the ground and being trampled by men. This is what's happening mm -hmm. to the gospel. This is what's happening. The salt has lost its savor. And now it's no good except to be trampled. That's ex why don't you read your Bible? Right. You know, well, that infuriates me, obviously, because they're making Jesus look bad. Yes. You're talking, I don't know if we're on camera off camera, Jesus trinkets. They made it into Jesus junk. Jesus junk. Yes. That they're just making it into a, a business and not even regarding God's well, they grace. Don't care. They're making money, they're profiting just like the people in the temple. You know, they're they're just putting together trinkets and garbage. And they're selling it in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so with that said, hey, go to the right church. Amen. Get into the word of God. Amen. And, and grow in the things of the Lord. And don't put up with this garbage. Don't accept it into your, your heart or your house. Amen. Go to, go to church. Amen. Well, thank you, Pastor. I know that's it's, it's just sickening to see things like this. And, you know, this gives me an opportunity to invite you guys to come out and join us for church on Sunday at 830 and 1045. You're taking us through... Acts so chapter 13. 13. And uh, and so look forward to coming out because you're right, Pastor. We have to attend a church that teaches God's Teach word. word God. And uh, yes, and so I want to invite you guys to come out and join us. Thank you again for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor David. God bless you guys.